Thomas. Uh, I'm Johnny, I uh, play guitars, vocals, and program all the instruments. I'm James, and I play the drums. I'm Alex, and I play bass. Okay. Uh, uh, what, uh, what, who are the bands that uh, you were like, uh, inspired by? It was um, Children of the Bone, when I first started listening to them, it was just like, I played the solo, and I was like, why do you do stuff like that? Winter Sun, we did a bit of all the orchestra style stuff, and um, I suppose more influence from the death metal with the drumming and stuff like really fast and tense. That's okay. pretty much pretty much where I came from. Uh, what are you inspired by the music you into? Oh, well, some some of the things, sort of those two bands and uh, the Bath shirt you got on, I love those. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And um, yourself? All the same, maybe Dimmy Borg yeah, as well. Okay. Um, so how often do you guys gig? Well, I'm um, having a bit of a break at the moment writing the album before we did uh, quite a few in the summer. Mm -hmm. But like I say, the priorities are shifted at the moment when we get the uh, album finished. Uh, when you were playing gigs, whereabouts did you normally play gigs? Was it around Derby or did you...? Yeah, it was the local Derby area. We um, did a few gigs in Burton. There was an old pub called the Appleby, which used to be the uh, kind of homing ground for the alternative scene. Mm -hmm. So I did a few gigs there. So, can you give us a general outline uh, before we go into detail about the production side of it? The production side is uh, usually written, just guitar, sort of jamming about, sometimes writing on the piano. Just, I write that into software, I add the drums to that, then I uh, put all the orchestras in it, so it's an entire, entire um, computer based orchestra which yeah, okay. plays. So, I build that layers on layers on layers, and um, then record guitar and bass like normal. Um, what software do you use to do the orchestra? It's a mixture of VSTs, mainly e East West Symphonic and a software package called Vienna, but well. got some good sounds on there. Okay, um, so how did you guys uh, form? I started off with the songs. Songs were written and needed members and met these guys at uni. Kind of had a similar similar taste. Kind of clocked onto that and then just Started jamming, kind of worked out alright. Uh, uh, how long did it take you to get the full band together? From the start, four years. <laughs> four years? Four years, four years before I met It's been first. a long course. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I met when yeah, I started writing at college, so two years before. So yeah, about, about four years before everything started actually rolling. Right, let's stop it off. What are your plans for the near future? Hopefully, once this semester's finished, the album's going to be written. And uh, most of the demos will be done for it as well. I've been starting doing those. Which demos I've done, we're going to start actually gigging the summer again, trying to kick things back up, trying to re establish the name because the style's changed since the last gig. So I uh, thought we'd do that, and obviously we've got the lineup. So, um, yeah, I'll start plans. If you could see yourself in 10 years, where would you be with this band? Earning. Where would you Earning want to be? Where would you want to be? Ideally, I'd want to be in a. Uh, not far away from here. I don't know, it's more like Berlin Dock. Too scared, 2024, too scared. No, that's uh, live, live enough, enough to live off. I don't want to be big because that's too much pressure. No, you don't want to be too small because you can't enjoy it. So you kind of want to be in that middle ground where you earn enough money to keep on going. Yeah, I hope.